back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you how I like to fill in my brows and what products I use in them because so many of you guys have been asking me for a very, very long time now what it is that I use and how I do my brows the way that I do. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it and show you how I do them. Okay, so I've zoomed in a little bit and I like to fill in my brows using an eyebrow cake and the one that I use is Illamasqua's Eyebrow Cake in the shade Thunder. And this is it right here. I love this so much. It's one of those products that just works for me. So I don't feel the need to use anything else. So you would have seen me use this in probably every single one of my tutorials. I love it that much. I can get like a really nice natural kind of brow with this. Or I can go for a really thick um, and really heavy filled in brow. I just love, love, love the texture of it. It's got a bit of a waxy um, texture, but it's not that waxy and obvious. Um, so the fact that it's got a little bit of wax in there is good because if you didn't want to seal your brows after, this is gonna hold it in place anyway, which is really, really good. So you don't need many products, but I've got a lot of hair here, so I need to hold it down. Hey. Um, but yeah, so I like to use this with an angled brush and I've just got a Laura Mercier brow brush and all the writing's rubbed off so I can't even read it but it's got a bit of a, it's got a spoolie on this end and the angled brush is on this end. So what I like to do is first of all flip my hair back and then <laughs> uh, just quickly brush through my brows just to get them going all in one direction and then with a little bit of product on here, tapping off any excess, what I like to do is I like to start from the bottom and just draw a line all the way across following the natural um, shape of my brow. So that this natural line and then going down and then what I like to do is because I like the um, front of my brows to look really natural and wispy as they should be um, because I'm not quite a fan of the scouse brow or it to look too square and blocky there. Um, you know, I, I do like it to be filled in, but with some element of naturalness. Um, so what I like to do is do the same thing on the top of my brow. So taking it all the way along and um, following the natural shape, but kind of going from like about there. It's not right from the start of my brow, just like a teeny bit into it. So I'm just following it and down and letting the uh, tail meet so the bottom and the top line will now meet. So as you can see it looks a little bit silly now because I've got a line here and a line there and the middle hasn't been filled in. Now if you wanted to go for something quite natural what I would do is I would just push up any of the product that is already in the brow from the, from the bottom line. So you just want to push it up into the rest of the brow. And you've already got enough um, product on your brush so you don't need to use any more. And then when you're getting to the front of your brow, you just want to continue to push it up. So 
So that's how I like my brow to look, so you can see the difference between a filled in one and a natural one with nothing in it at all. So I'm just going to do the same on the other brow, using the same technique. definition with a concealer and the one that I like to use at the moment is again an Illamasqua product actually this whole brow tutorial is going to be all Illamasqua that's really strange um, but yeah I like this concealer and it doesn't actually have a shade or anything on the back it's just one of their concealers you can go and get colour matched um, but it's like a shade lighter than my actual skin tone and I really like this um, because it's a really nice heavy duty concealer that's not going to budge um, and I like to just use this with any flat synthetic brush and this is a MAC 195 so you can do the rest of your face and then your brows and then blend your foundation into it which is what I'm going to show you um, so yeah I like to just go around the edge making it really clean and cut just because sometimes it can get a bit messy you might have gone out of the lines a little bit and um, so this is just a really good way of cleaning up and also a good way of highlighting and then you just want to run it along the sides a little bit again i don't like it looking way too sharp at the front so i just um, I just conceal there slightly and then I run this concealer along the bottom really really close to my brow just to make it look really nice and clean cut and like I said before this is a great way of highlighting under your brow giving it that really nice arch and then I like to just take my finger and blend that out and now you still have these like kind of harsh lines at the top so you just want to go over with your foundation brush that you used earlier and just blend it into the rest of your foundation or if you're going to do your foundation after it might be a little bit easier to do it that way but this is a great way of highlighting your brows and making them look really stand out. Does that make sense? I never make any sense. For someone that makes YouTube videos, I try and explain things and I'm not very good at explaining. Almost finished! So then, uh, because I have a lot of hair in my brows, um, sometimes they tend to fall down like this and you just look really silly and it's not cool. So, I'm just going to brush through that. Put it back. So I set my brows with my Illamasqua Brow and Lash Gel and you would have seen me use this in every video as well because this is another favourite. This um, eyebrow cake and this Lash Gel are like a must and a staple for me. I can't use one without the other and I will always always use them, I love them so much. Um, so yeah, I just like to 
run this through and this really really does set your brows it holds them in place for however long which is great I think I went indoor uh, skydiving with this on my brows and they didn't budge or when I go out on a night out um, my eyebrows never never ever ever budge I said never never ever ever never ever yeah you get me but um, yeah my eyebrows never ever budge when I use this so it is such a fantastic product so guys that's it I really really hope you enjoyed that and finally you guys know what I do to get my brows looking like this and you guys can try it yourselves now and please if you do um, tweet your pictures to me um, at auntyoemua or instagram me I would absolutely love to see or some of you sometimes even email me so if you want to email me go ahead and do that too and you can find all my information to keep in touch down below in the description box and um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below letting me know what you think and also if there's anything you'd like to see from me next and if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe and like my facebook page and all that other good stuff follow me on instagram and yeah i'm gonna stop now so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you next time bye